welcome to the game. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Today, we're gonna take a look at Over Battle. I'm gonna show you everything you get inside this box. This is one of the coolest um, boxes that I can tell you. Um, the box is huge, as you can see. Um, but everything inside the box is already pre-separated and pre-packaged. Um, in their own tiers. Uh, you'll understand when, when I open it up and get all, it'll all make sense. Uh, we also got the add-on pack which adds uh, card sleeves and the card box as well as dice trays and the neoprene mat. This game is huge. Um, you're going to need a big table to play it but it's designed that way. Um, what is over battle? I'll talk about it as we unbox. Okay, so the easiest way to describe Over Battle um, is um, access and allies in space is really what comes to mind when I when I try to describe this. Um, if you've ever played Access and Allies, any of those big bad, uh, strategy board games, that's what Over Battle is. This box is jam packed. Um, the asteroids, the planets, they're all neoprene. Let me make sure I'm getting this on the screen. Um, yeah, it's got a, uh, basically it's like a foam core uh, battle station. All of the pieces come pre-packaged in their own individual trays, which is like super cool. Um, you have a fabric mat, uh, which comes in the game and it's big. Um, it, it, everything about this game just screams high quality. And this was a Kickstarter, but I do believe it's going to retail. Um, at some point, he does have some available on his uh, website. If I'm not mistaken, you can find it at overbattle.com. Two to four players, two to four hours, um, ages 14 plus. So you're looking at basically your um, standard Axis and Allies you know, type of game uh, and time frame. The box is designed to fit um, your Colax uh, shelves. So if you uh, have Colax shelves, I use Ivar on a, for everything you see in my room. But if you use Colax, it is designed to fit. If you want to store it sideways, if you want to lay it down, okay, two different pictures. Again, you want to store it sideways there, or if you want to store it like that. So Rob really <laughs> took a lot of time and a lot of effort into just getting the box design set up. Um, and you're and it's you know sorry if I'm kind of geeking out, but it's really just it's gorgeous. I mean, it's everything he's done. It's a it's a sturdy box. It's not flimsy. I mean, it's a it's a good box. It'll last you for a long time. Okay, inside the box. And you're opening this with me because I have not opened this yet. I did get a chance to play uh, at Gen Con uh, uh, with Rob for about four hours. We didn't finish the game. We were four players, a lot of bantering, so it was a lot of fun. We were really just trying to learn the rules. Fantastic. Everything that we've seen so far, it was great. Um, so, here's your rule book. Your online interactive rules, you scan this, it takes you... To the rulebook, um, and there's more. That's one of the really cool things about this. It's everything is online, and again, going back to Rob listening, he was really just going to have the rulebook online because um, the latest version will always be there. But people said, "No, we really want a print rulebook," so he went ahead and added a print rulebook. Didn't change the price, just added it. Um, so you have the full print rulebook here. Uh, this is the 1.0 rules. I know that the rules are 1.1 online as of this recording, I believe. Um, but rulebook is gorgeous. Um, big print. It could have been done at half the size with a smaller print, uh, but it wouldn't have done the game justice. This is a big game. It needs to be big. Hello. Okay, now. <laughs> um, all right, you're... Uh, 
your complete round and veteran and uh, player turn visualizations. And we use this uh, when we're playing, and it basically takes you step by step, shows you how the different steps to go through, which those colors correspond to the rule book. Step four is yellow, explore the galaxy. Step five is green. Step six is blue. Uh, again, that, that care and detail of this game. Rob has been working on this game for years, um, and it was a Kickstarter years ago. It didn't succeed, went back to the drawing board, changed a few things, came back, it was a success. And I am so glad because I backed it both times. Um, here's your unit guide. Now these are cool. Scan the barcodes, it'll take you online, it'll show you the ship and give you more information about the ship. So the, the cool thing about that is and when you're playing the game, you can scan a card with your phone while you know your enemy is taking his turn, and you can find out more about the ships, any information you know that they have online for it. So it, it's just it, it's really a neat, um, it's just it's just fantastic. I, I can't stop geeking out over this. Okay, these are the planets, and when you start the game, you lay out the mat. And everybody picks a home planet, and then the other planets get laid out. These are neoprene. Okay? These are mouse pads. These are really nice. They're all different. And your board changes with every single setup, and that's one of the really cool things about this. Um, every time you play the game, your board's going to be different. You'll never play the same game twice. So if you play Access and Allies, you play the same map every single time. If you play any other board game, you play the same map and literally every single time, or most board games. But this one, it's always going to be different. Now, what else do you get in here? These are the moons, because planets have moons, your planets have moons, and asteroids, and you get a whole bunch of these, and a vortex and a moon, and asteroids, and really cool asteroids, and more asteroids, and oh, by the way, they're all different. Look, I think it looks like Corsican. Um, look, there's our moon, kind of boring. Um, so, you know, it's, so every time you, you start the game, you'll lay out your mat, and, and that's part of the setup. The setup is, you choose your home world, everybody starts laying these things out, and that's the universe that you're going to play on. Um, don't eat that. Here is... Oh, you also get the USB drive with the rules on it, which, again, you know, it's just it's just him making this so much better. Um, you know, adding these, these little, these little uh, extras that didn't change the price because this game is, is worth every penny uh, with just how it is. All right, this is your play mat. It's fabric, um, and it's a nice fabric too. I mean, it's gonna, it will lay over, you know, the edge of your table. But you can get an idea of just how big this game is. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a it's a big game, which is why it's going to take you, you know, four hours to play. Um, so, you know, don't try to cram it in on a on a real quick whim. You're going to need some time uh, to play this game. All right. This is uh, that 3D board um, that you're going to use for combat, and it looks like it's made out of foam core, which is really cool, and then the cardboard. Um, these are your... Uh, set up um, screens. So there's one for each player. And you know, they'll just say over battle, the all war on the front. And on the back, depending on who you are, it's got your ship cost uh, and information about it. And this, you just kind of sit up in front of you and you hide your units behind it uh, when you're manufacturing. All right, you get lots of dice, lots of tokens. Uh, the game is all 12 sided, except for the D4, which is used to determine uh, turn initiative.
which is actually really cool. Um, but other than that, you get lots of D12s, and when it comes to combat, you're going to be rolling lots of D12s. So it, it's, but this is how it comes right out of the box. You already have your tray, not a whole bunch of little baggies, and you have to go buy your own trays. He did it all for you. And you get the four races. And these races, you have everything pre-sorted, already in the tray, nice hard plastic trays. Okay, so nice, sturdy, hard game trays. Keeps everything nice and organized. Now, you have your different spaceships. You have uh, bases. You have, uh, these are your individual troops, uh, your commanders, uh, and mechs, which are really cool. Uh, so you have your land units, you have your space units. You have to travel to planet, planet to asteroid, uh, to take them over, and you get, it's just, it's fun. If you played Axis and Allies, you get the gist of it. The four colors, the brown, the yellow, and the blue. You also get already set up in these nice, really cool plastic container, the chips and stuff. So you can have, you know, if you have a stack of, uh, you know, uh, fighters going in rather than trying to cram 10 fighters in a spot, you can put, you know, a bunch of these little chips under it. Not in a little bag, already set up in little plastic containers. I mean, it's just these details are just what really sets this apart. Okay, and in here are all of the unit cards. And again, on these unit cards, boy. And again, these unit cards will have those QR codes on them. So as your, you know, these are your base ones, but on the back, there's a QR code. So all you gotta do is scan that card and it's gonna take you to the infantry page online and it'll have all the latest updated information. So really, really cool. Um, so that is basically what you get inside the overbattle box itself. Um, let me put this away real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, if you ordered the additional pack PAK, you got the two dice trays, you got the card sleeves for the cards, and you got a card box to hold them in. Now, as of this, I just got a message last night that not all of the card sleeves um, were the right size. For some reason, there was a mispack or something. So instead of asking everybody to look at their card sleeves and send them back or to, you know, to figure out and say okay who got good ones who didn't he's just sending them all out by amazon so every u.s backer is going to get more card sleeves of the right size which again goes back to uh rob is just really super cool so you get the card sleeves you get the card box um, so card box magnetize nice little box so it'll fit all of your sleeved cards very cool and then you get two dice trays since it is a large game you one for each side of the table and if you've never seen these dice trays
There you go. Now you have a nice overbalanced dice tray. And you get two of these. <clears throat> okay, the last thing that we have to take a quick look at is our massive neoprene mat. Now this is the XL, which gives you more um, on the edge, but as you can see, this will fit just inside of my table. Or you can't see that. Once I get my table cleaned off, um, it is four feet wide by six feet. And this is just stunningly gorgeous. Um, sewn edges, neoprene mat all the way around. And it's the same mat um, that we saw, but. Uh... All right, what you're seeing right here is only a third of the mat. Um, it's big. Um, but again, this is a big game. Um, so there you go, folks. Um, that's over about it. It was everything that was, came with the Kickstarter. If you went all in and got the extras. Um, so anyway, I uh, hope this helps. Uh, it is a fantastic game. I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you love these big um, strategy games that are going to take up your entire table and look super impressive. Um, anyway, as always, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.